Hi guys, yeah, it's me. Um, so I went. It, today is the seventeenth of, Sun, uh, of March. Seventeenth mm -hmm. of March, Sunday. Um, <laughs> you think I have hair under here? I don't. Big reveal. Ta-da! No hair. I actually prefer it with my cool beanie. I actually think it's cool. My mother hates it. Um, I did the shave yesterday. Um, there will be a video up when I get around to getting that video. I didn't actually have my camera on me, so I was unable to tape it. So my best friend taped it for me. Um, come on. can't stop touching it. Um, so I thought I'd talk about like the after and the build up to getting there and actually having my sha head shaved. So um, I left my place which is on the south side of Brisbane which is, yeah, it's not too bad I guess. Anyway, um, and I left for the north side which is about maybe a 20 minute, nearly 30 minute drive. It depends on the traffic, which seemed to be really busy for a Saturday. Um, yeah, and I, I picked my best friend up, and um, she was telling me, you know, her mother told her not to get her head shaved while I was doing it. So we went, we got a park really easily, which is really strange because we went to Chermside Shopping Centre. Um, which is usually really, 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 really busy. Um, yeah, and I was the first one there um, to get my head shaved. I um, registered and stuff like that, and they brought me up on stage, um, asked how much I raised, which is 380 my fine altar. I think there's, I've got a couple of relatives now they've seen my head and I've actually shaved. They want to donate. Um, uh, and um, so they asked me, if, they always ask if you've got family. Is that, is that all the family? I was like, yeah. What of it? But yeah, so my best friend came with me and um, should, I'll put the video, I'll put a link in the description afterwards once I do get the video I'll end up getting it um, but yeah um, oh, so about, oh yeah um, so yeah <laughs> what they do first is they put your hair in a really tight ponytail cut the ponytail off and give it to you and you don't feel it until the ponytail comes off and your hair sort of falls. And at that point I was like, holy sh holy shit. What the frick have I done? What have I got myself into? Um, and then they started, they got the razor and started. And it's just like something vibrating on your head. Guys don't know more than chicks. Um, but, yeah, and it was all done. And But oh, while I was sitting there, the, the second person to get their head shaved, it was a chick, maybe 20, and um, her mother and grandmother came with her. So, um, and... They chopped the ponytail off, and as soon as they chopped the ponytail off, the mother started crying. She ended up, you know, getting hold of herself, sort of stopping, and then as soon as the razors came out, her grandmother started crying. I felt really sorry for them because it's traumatic, and I can't imagine what people with cancer would feel like, you know. Losing all their hair, it must be horrifying. Cause, especially as a as a chick, you sort of you have that beautiful long luscious hair. Well, you don't have to, but so like the norm in the society is, you know, you have hair. 
so, you know, you get, you still get stared at a lot. I, when I was at terms, I, I got stared a lot when I was shopping and I couldn't stop touching my head. But there was also a lot of really positive comments like, good on you, I wouldn't have done it, you're really brave, you know. Yeah, so it's good. It's really, it was a really positive outcome and I felt better for those people saying it as well. So I went and got this beanie and I got another got a scarf that looks like a Cheshire that reminded me of the Cheshire cat and that's exactly and my mother uh, followed that up with um the Cheshire cat was really ugly and trouble making cat so probably not a good thing but I love it. I love him. So mm. anyway after I got my head shaved I walked off the stage and I I got my little cap and I got Oops, there we go. I got a certificate saying that I did it and it was all legal, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, and yeah, so um, that afternoon I also had a baby shower and I walked in and people were like, oh my gosh, <laughs> hair's all gone, your hair's all gone. So that was another good reaction and after that I had my sisters she was is she's she actually turned 21 today um she had a, like a um a birthday party and um it was a surprise and anyway so um, she walked in and you know we said surprise and we were talking and then five minutes later she goes, holy shit your hair it's all gone so it, it took five minutes for my sister to realize with my beating off that I had actually done it I don't know why but people seem to have thought that I wouldn't go through with it oh, fuck off. um yeah so I went out with her Oh, my best friend Emily actually, half an hour after I shaved my hair off, decided she wanted to shave her head as well. Um, which is lovely. So she paid the $20 and she's raised $100. And if you want to sponsor her, she's still collecting money. The I'll put a link in the description as well. Um, it, it's just through PayPal. Um, so, at first, when I started feeling my hair and it was all off, you know, I was feeling really self-conscious, actually, and, um, but I knew I did it for good cause. I went out and in the valley, Fortitude Valley. Just like big clubbing area, went clubbing with my sister, and I, I almost wore this every all night, but sort of got used to it. And I got a really, the lovely thing was I got a couple of comments from complete strangers saying, "Look, you did a good thing, and I'm glad you did it." And you know, and some people related to me saying, "Look, my my sister got leukemia, and you know, thank you, and you know, all that." So that was really good. Um, yeah, it was, it was great, so that's what happened in life so far with my head, um, my head shaved, yeah, so I have to send this to, to my family actually, yeah, anyway, so, yeah. I will say goodbye now because I've got nothing else to say.